Hello and welcome to Couchon Cracker Jacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious blueberry muffins from scratch. These things are so delicious. They're loaded up with fresh blueberries. They're super easy to make and would make a great breakfast or even just a snack with a cup of coffee or tea. These are the ingredients that you'll need. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get my buttermilk ready. I've got half a cup of milk here. I'm going to add in one and a half teaspoons of plain white vinegar. I'm just going to stir that with a spoon and let this sit for a few minutes. Uh, you can use commercially available buttermilk if you want to. Uh, most people don't have that in the refrigerator, so this is an excellent substitute for that. And I actually like the muffins better when they're made with this. I'm just going to go ahead and set that off to the side. In a large bowl, I've got one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour, also known as plain flour outside of the United States. I'm going to add in three quarters of a cup of white granulated sugar to that. I'm also going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder, as well as half of a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and get all that salt in there. And then just using a spatula, I'm going to stir this together to get all those dry ingredients incorporated. Once that's all incorporated, I'm going to add in one cup of fresh blueberries. I've already gone ahead and rinsed these and let them drain. You could also use frozen blueberries if you want to, just make sure that they are thawed first. And using my spatula, I'm just going to toss these into the dry ingredients. Now doing it this way is going to coat your berries in the dry mix, uh, and that's gonna prevent your berries from sinking into the muffins and having a pool of berries at the bottom. Then I'm going to add in my buttermilk mixture as well as three ounces of vegetable oil. You could cut that with applesauce if you wanted to. Uh, I'm also going to add in one egg that has been beaten. Be sure and get all that egg into your mix. And I'm gonna follow that up with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And using my spatula here, I'm going to gently fold these ingredients together to make a batter. Uh, you do not want to stir this vigorously because you'll end up developing gluten and you'll end up with a really bready and kind of a tough muffin. You want them nice and delicate, uh, so don't stir this any more than you have to. You just want to mix this until all of the dry ingredients are moistened with the wet ingredients. And this is a rather thick batter. That's perfectly normal. That's what it's supposed to be like. Uh, but once you no longer see any dry ingredients or wet ingredients, then that is thoroughly mixed. Go ahead and stop. Then you wanna let this sit for about 15 minutes or so on your countertop, and this will guarantee that your muffins rise nicely in the center uh, and you don't have these flat spread out tops. You get a nice dome top on your muffins. Next, I'm going to prepare my muffin tray here. This recipe makes eight muffins, so if you don't have an eight muffin tin, uh, you can use mini muffin tin if you want to, if you have one of those. If you have a 12 tin, you're only gonna need eight of them. If you have a 610 muffin tin, you're gonna to need to use two pans for this. But just using a finger here and some vegetable oil, I'm going to spread that oil right around the lip of the top of the muffin tin, and that will prevent the tops from sticking to your pan. Then you wanna take cupcake liners and place one liner into each little compartment of your muffin tin. You don't have to use cupcake liners if you don't want to. Uh, if you don't, be sure and grease the entire pan. And once that 15 minutes is up, you can go ahead and start filling up your muffin tin or your liners here. Uh, at this point, it is very important not to stir your batter. Your batter will have already started to rise uh, and you don't wanna break those bubbles that's already in the batter. So just using a spoon, you want to gently transfer the batter into the muffin tins, filling these almost all the way to the top. And then finally, I'm going to top these with some coarse sanding sugar. You can get these wherever they sell sprinkles. That's kind of an expensive way to get it. Or you can go to the bakery in your local grocery store and they will usually sell you a container of these for a buck or two. And you don't need to cover these with sanding sugar if you don't want to, it's completely optional. Uh, and then you wanna bake these in a preheated 450 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 minutes. And then you wanna lower the temperature down to 350 and bake them for an additional 10 to 12 minutes. You wanna start it out hot so the outside seals, that way you get a nice dome top and they don't have time to spread on you. And then you wanna turn the heat down in the middle so that way the inside continues to bake without the muffins turning too brown on you. And you wanna check the centers with a toothpick, make sure that they come out clean on you, that's when you know that they are done. And then you wanna let them cool off a little bit in the pan before you remove them. And then go ahead and serve these up with a cup of coffee or tea. And there's a delicious little breakfast or snack for you. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep up to date on all my latest videos. And we'll see you next time.